Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Once again, this is The Power of a Book, a program presented by Muslim Channel Uganda, powered by DBS. By name I'm Dr. Idin Jawawe, your host. And today we have a guest from Turkey, Emery Abi. We are going to read from the Risale Nur collection, which is a tafsir of the Quran authored by Badia Uzzaman Sa'id al Nursi, a Turkish scholar. We are going to read specifically from the Flashes collection and we are going to zoom down to the book or the chapter entitled The Risale on the Sick, which is from the 25th Flash. And we are going to read specifically the seventh uh, remedy. This uh, specific section in the treatise is dedicated as a point of wisdom about sickness. Is it that sickness is always bad or evil? What are the wisdoms behind sickness? What are the advantages in sickness? What are the gains we get in sickness? Is it just pain only? Listen and learn. So our guest, Imri Abi, will read and I'll also join him. Let's read along. Okay, inshallah. Let me read one remedy out of 25 remedy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, seventh remedy. O sick person who has lost the pleasures of health, your illness does not spoil the pleasures of divine bounties. On contrary, it causes them to be experienced and increases the, them. For if something is continuous, it loses its effect. In fact, the people of reality say, Innamal ashya'u tu'rafu bi addadiha, meaning things are known through their opposites. For example, if there was no darkness, light would not be known, would contain no pleasure. If there was no cold, heat could not be comprehended, it will be without joy. If there was no hunger, food would afford no pleasure. If there was no thirst of the stomach, there will be no pleasure in drinking water. If there was no disease, there will be no joy in good health. If there was no sickness, no pleasure would be had from good health. Can I request to read the remaining parts, Dr. Idi? Thank you. The all-wise creators decking out man with truly numerous members and faculties to the extent that he may experience and recognize the innumerable varieties of bounties in the universe shows that he wants to make him aware. Aware of every sort of his bounty and to acquaint him with them and to impel him to offer constant thanks. Since this is so, he will give illness, sickness, and suffering, the same as he bestows good health and well-being. I ask you, if you had not suffered this illness in your head or in your hand or stomach, would you have perceived the pleasure and enjoyable divine bounty of the good health of your head, hand, or stomach? and offered thanks? It's a question. For sure, you would not have even thought of it, let alone offering thanks for it. You would have unconsciously spent that good health on heedlessness and perhaps even on dissipation. Walillahi al-kareem al-fatiha ma'a salawat. <laughs>